have you noticed that life's getting expensive, right? My grocery bill compared to a couple years ago is up at least 30%, probably closer in the range of 40 to 50%. Price of gasoline is getting super expensive again. And it just seems like everything is going up. And yes, COVID caused some supply demand mismatches, but I think there's a lot more going on. And the title of this video, the thumbnail is Greedflation. And that's what I wanna talk about today. So let's go for a walk first. You know, what is greedflation? Uh, it's kind of a term that I've heard a couple places and I thought it really describes what I think is going on. Yes, at first, there was a mismatch between supply and demand, lumber costs, building supplies, all of that went up very drastically. And, and frankly, it's because they couldn't get the product from point A to point B. So we had these spot shortages going on. And so that drove up lumber prices, it's coming down. But I think there's more to it than that. And that is, you know, companies just have a natural tendency to raise prices a lot more quickly than they bring them down once that demand and supply has been matched again. And I think that's what we're seeing here is we're seeing corporations saying we can make more money. Several companies, consumer product type companies have said, you know, we've raised prices as much as we can. And, and now the consumer is actually switching brands. So this is particularly impacting companies with strong brands, the brands that you and I would prefer to buy when we go to the grocery store, um, maybe buy soda, things like that. Cereal, I mean, oh my goodness, a, a box of Raisin Bran is almost $7 now for just a regular size box. And that was $3 before COVID uh, where I live. So, you know, I, I think there was, there comes this point where you and I are expecting prices to go up. And so we just accept that. But then there's also a point where we say, wait a minute, things are going too high. Um, in my silly example of Raisin Bran, you know, my local store has a local brand uh, and it was $2 instead of $7. And normally I wouldn't buy that brand, but you know, for a $5 difference, it's like, let's try it. And you know what, it's just as good. And so I think, now there's other things that aren't just as good, right? I mean, there's reasons that we pay up for the brand. But I think what we're seeing now is those prices have been driven up as, as much as they can. Corporations took advantage of the fact that uh, inflation was high, the consumer was in, expecting higher inflation, uh, and they were able to pass that along. In fact, you know, one of the dangers with inflation and why Jerome Powell and the Federal Open Markets Committee is so worried about inflation is once you and I are expecting inflation on a regular basis, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I'm really glad to see some of those inflation numbers come down. I'm glad to hear companies talking about uh, how they don't think they can raise prices anymore. I think that's a good thing for you and I that we have become price sensitive. And I think that's what sends a, a message to the corporations. You know, I could tell you, you know, write to your US Senator, your congressperson and, and say, hey, a school on YouTube was talking about greedflation. And yes, I agree with him, that's going on and we should do something about that. You know, uh, I think the power of the consumer is, is, is much stronger than trying to get something legislatively done. Uh, because how do you legislate that? And then, you know, the big consumer brands all have big lobbying arms. Um, but so that's what I think is happening is just this mismatch gave us the opportunity um, to the corporations to see that, you know, we can raise prices now, people are expecting that. And you know, one of the good things through this is US wage growth has been pretty stagnant for a very long time on an inflation adjusted basis. And one of the things we've seen in the last two years is cons uh, workers are finally starting to get, uh, make progress on an inflation adjusted basis on their pay. And I hope that continues because for too long, I mean, I saw a study that showed like from the 1980s until now on inflation adjusted basis, there's been very, very little progress made on the wages for the average, you know, middle-class uh, worker. But yet if you look at, you know, what is housing costs? Now that's not greedflation, right? That's 
that is supply and demand because your neighbor's selling their house, no matter how greedy they get, right? The market's only gonna pay. The market is what the market is. As uh, my realtor told me when I sold my house at the tail end of, of, of COVID, of the pandemic. Um, but you know, housing prices have definitely gone up. I've seen that the price of the average car is almost $50,000 and this is not for a fancy car. So life is getting more expensive and I think it's time that the average worker starts to make some progress. I think having a healthy middle class is super important. And I, I think stagnant wages and I think greedflation has made that harder. It's made it harder for the average American family to make progress. Um, and then, you know, frankly, the, all this advertisement on television, you know, for these $50,000 cars uh, and some of the best salespeople in the world, unfortunately, are car salespeople. And it just breaks my heart when somebody that can't afford a car that they ended up buying got talked into it because the dealer, you know, has, has addressed or the salesperson has addressed all of these questions multiple times. And they made it seem like, well, yeah, of course, I, I can afford this car and I should buy this car. I mean, it's, it's one in six, one in seven people have over a $1,000 a month car payment now. That's a big car payment. Um, but I do think even with the cars, you know, as we saw car prices just skyrocket um, during at, at the tail end of COVID, I remember people used to, it wasn't that long ago that there's no way I would pay sticker price for a car, right? Nobody would. And in fact, I've never bought a new car. Uh, I always buy used cars, but you know, I have bought consumer reports that tells me what the, you know, the dealer price, the sticker price of a car is and things at, uh, just recently, if you could get a car at sticker price, you were doing really, really well. And it just shows you how quickly things can change. I think things are back into normal, um, but still, you know, it, we're getting normalized at this much higher rate of what things cost. Sorry, ambulance going by, excuse the noise. Um, so we're getting used to, to that higher cost. And, and hopefully though, corporations are getting the signal that consumers are getting more price sensitive it's time to not only stop raising prices, but maybe I hope what we see is, is prices start coming back down. Now, you know, I, I think the price of a 12 pack of soda is gonna stay high. I don't think they're gonna lower the price of that. I think, you know, my box of Raisin Bran cereal uh, that I was talking about earlier, I, I think that's seven bucks for a while, but hopefully it stays at that and doesn't go up for a while uh, and even better um, you know, if they'd start lowering the price or making it, you know, couponing is a way that these consumer product goods uh, can actually do price discrimination. So those of us that are willing to spend a few minutes to clip some coupons, we'll be able to buy things less expensively. So it'll be interesting to see how things play out, but leave in the comments for me, what are you seeing? You know, how are your expenses doing? And also I think you'll enjoy watching this video here that, that talks about five reasons to retire as soon as you can, if you can afford it. So you, you do a financial plan, you look at, you know, not only what the cost of everything is in your life, but what the cost is of continuing to work, um, both on your health and things like that. So watch that video, I think you'll like it. Five reasons to retire as soon as you can. And thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.